I don't like to hit the panic button. In fact, I would say that I'm one of the more calmer. Okay, I can't even. I can't even finish that sentence. Okay, I'm lying. My wife knows. I like to panic. I think I. I don't like to panic. I just. It's a habit. I, I panic. I can't help it. That is why I'm ready to say that week three is a must win for the Las Vegas Raiders, especially, especially after this. I just. It's so frustrating to watch a, such a talented football team in the Las Vegas Raiders that doesn't live up to its potential. It's I thought Josh McDaniels was going to be that guy. You know, the offensive line looked eh, yeah, it looked okay, it looked it looked relatively okay. Then you got Derek Carr out there that honestly, Derek Carr wasn't the problem. You led what was it, twenty to nothing at halftime. You need that second half offense to be able to get things going, but you couldn't run the football to salt away this in any way. Like it was just. It was the fact that the Raiders weren't even able to just do anything in the second half that was that would warrant any optimism. Like, I'm usually the optimist. But the fact that the Raiders could not do anything to either A, put more points on the board, or B, waste any amount of time for Kyler Murray to do his best Fran Tarkington impersonation and basically throw it over the yard and run in for touchdowns against the Raiders. It just... It's frustrating, but I'm not ready to give up the hope yet. I, I think that yes, this is this was a rough game, but there's there's I'm always going to be the optimist here. Yes, you had guys like Darren Waller who finished the game with 60 or six. Whoa, he didn't have 60 catches. He had six catches for 50 yards and a touchdown. Uh, also, Devontae Adams two catches, 12 yards and a touchdown. Any game that Devontae Adams only has two catches on, I think it was like five targets, five or six targets, and one touchdown. The Raiders they deserve to lose. Like it was just the fact you were not able to put any amount of creativity into this offense like it's the most frustrating thing that i've seen in a while because this is too talented of a team this is too talented an offense to lose to the arizona cardinals in that situation you had new Hopkins who wasn't even in the game and you still find a way to lose it like it's just this defensive line max crosby i don't know what happened but uh, apparently uh you know learning how or remembering how to tackle specifically specifically a guy like kyler murray it just went out went, went out for everybody not even just him because it really wasn't his fault he was the only guy that i believe had a sack on the day uh here we'll, we'll, we'll check it just to be double sure uh yeah only player that had a sack on kyler murray the only guy that was putting consistent pressure on him i'm i'm, I'm putting an, an mia call in for chance Jones at this point like I get it that you know you are coming in you're a little bit older you're kind of wondering where we're going to get out of this guy right now but at the end of the day we need to see more from the pass rushers for the Raiders and I, I'm calling it I'm calling it week three is a must win for the Las Vegas Raiders you are you have you are playing the Tennessee Titans who right now at this current moment in time uh, I believe they're losing what 41 to 7 uh, at the half to uh, the, the the Bills like it's just and now Malik Willis is in the game. I believe right now he was in the game. I, uh, yes, this video is done before he finishes the game. But if Malik Willis plays against the Raiders in week three, the Raiders need to 50 the Titans. I don't care what Derrick Henry does. Shut him down. It comes to it literally comes down to the fact you have a rookie quarterback playing that in no way, shape, or form should pick you apart. You have a rookie quarterback playing in which you should at least be able to put a spy on him and be able to hopefully, hopefully mitigate some of those potential wrongdoings that could happen to the Raiders. Week three is a must win. There is no mistake about it. You have lost two games to two teams that you should have beaten. Honestly, that's just what it is. Let's call it what it is. They, uh, the Chargers, yes, they've got a lot of talent, but you were in a position of multiple times to win that game. The Cardinals, again, don't even have New Hopkins, and you just let Kyler Murray do his thing. Week three needs to be it for the Las Vegas Raiders. I think they need to find a way to get it done. I don't care. Mal Malik Willis needs to literally have the worst rookie debut on the planet. Even though I don't think he will, he's just a really good football player. But at the end of the day, the Raiders, have a lot of things they need to figure out and need to make sure that they they make life just tough for whoever plays and is whoever whoever is under center in week three for the tennessee titans but make no mistake week three is a must win for the las vegas raiders but let us know what you guys think make sure you guys like and subscribe down below leave a like and a comment it helps people find the show we really appreciate all the support that you've got that we've gotten and continue to get i'm sorry i've got the albert einstein here i'm going a little nuts right now uh, but make sure you guys give us a like and a follow also remember to give us a listen and sub on itunes and finally if you have anything else you'd like us to cover send us an email at the sports bp at yahoo.com or put it in the comment section down below and we would love to cover it but let us know what you guys think about week Three, week, week, trace, whatever, being a must win for the Las Vegas Raiders.